Hello Internet, welcome back to Rizelle's TV and part 8 of my wooden electromechanical clock build. Let's get going. At some point I'm going to be mounting servos under these crank arm wheels, so I'll need to mark on the wood where they go with regards to everything else. So I've made this out of Lego. Now this goes in place of the wooden blocks I made previously for holding these up temporarily. They're made of an L piece with a aluminium tube, hot melt glued in place temporarily. And that keeps the tube exactly vertical. Now I can drop an axle down and then put the crank wheel on top of that and it holds that exactly in place. And then I can use the crank arms themselves to visually place the wheel where it, exactly where it needs to go. Now when I've done that, and I know it's the exact, in the exact position it needs to be, I can push something down on this rod and make a dent in the wood underneath. I've already done it with this one and I made a spot right here in pencil so next I'll probably be doing the same for the crank wheel for this side I've got this one lined up how I want it to so I can press down on this allen key make a dent in the wood to mark it So now we have two centre positions marked out for the servos. This all just pulls apart because it's only hot milk glue holding the plastic and the metal together. Beautiful. That's the last bit of that paper, so I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I can think of another plan, but there we go. Right, next step. Between the last clip and this one, I've made up some fancy new lighting. I say fancy, I've just got a cheap desk lamp with a daylight bulb in it. I've taken it apart and I've mounted it on the aluminium bracket on top of a lighting pole. So, much better light, it's more directed over where I want it. It's a cooler colour temp temperature, so I don't have to do anything, any sort of correcting in post. So it should make everything sharp a bit better. So we'll see. Now, a couple of weeks ago, last year in fact, uh -huh, I started work on the outer frame for the clock. I did the inner rabbit area for mounting the thing inside it, in there, and the bottom bit in here. I've also added some brass inserts around the outside of it to mount the rest of it. So, I can mount this in here like this, and then this bit of wood fits in here. will just screw in place like that. So it just screws in the bottom of these three screws. Holds everything nice. Now I also wanted bits to go either side to finalise holding everything in but I've run out of material so I've only got one piece cut. So temporarily at least I've got some smaller bits which screw into the sides here like this. And here is the overview of the whole thing so far. This is shorter than the height of this if that makes sense. So if I have something across here, it's not good, yeah, it's, 
these sides aren't as tall as this is but the top bit will be more recessed it'll be like in two halves so we'll have a top bit of glass on it I'll have hinges on this side and that will hold every, it'll encompass everything and it won't held up with this so this is shorter so that the lid can be deeper because the lid has contained like the two more bits of this for the rebate on the sides rabbit whatever you want to call it and also the, the glass itself as well and the decorative, any sort of decorative edging on that the next step for the back bit at least will be to add these bits got some square section wood no idea what wood it's just from the model store and they'll be glued up into a box section and glued on the sides like that so that'll be the very next job then it's this part of the case finished that's all my edging glued in place all nice and flush these bits here I've glued down using rubber bands to put tension on the edging and I've clamped the rubber bands in place so that's pushing down like that about an hour or so and it'll be dry excellent that's looking nice right, clamps are off glue is dried and I've sanded it all flush and smooth just to blend in the edges a bit where there's a little tiny bit of overhang but that's looking very very good Right, that's all I've got time for this week, so check back next week because I'm going to be starting on the mounts for the servos. And if I can't get the servos in, I'm definitely going to be doing the link um, angle calculations and the um, lookup table. So look forward to me building a scale model, a 10 times scale model of what these crank arms are going to look like when I have this mounted and the crank arm going across there. So that's going to be pretty awesome seeing a 10 times bigger version of that and I'll have protractors and everything else to work at angles. So that's going to be great fun. So tune in next Tuesday if you want to see me carry on with this. And don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification. Leave a comment down in the doobly-doo if you have any questions at all or if you want to see anything else being done. And as always, I'll see you next week.